1971, two people who would have considered themselves arch enemies were actually seated at the same table. They were C.P. Ellis, who was the head of the Durham, North Carolina's KKK, and Ann Atwater, who was the best known civil rights movement activist in that town of Durham, North Carolina at that time. They were assigned to sit together because there was a big conversation around schools, desegregation or segregation. The kids that had been at the predominantly black school had had a, a disaster happen at their school. And so there was all this conversation about whether they could bring the kids together in the predominantly white school. And so the community was thrown together to have these difficult conversations. And, and under the facilitation process, these two really arch enemies and, and um, symbolic leaders of the two camps had been brought together. And what happened there was the beginning of a relationship, the beginning of an interaction when forced to be at that table as enemies. Because when we look face to face with one another, we suddenly begin to see each other's humanity. We suddenly begin to see that all the other rising maybe isn't true, that we both have hearts and minds and children and hopes and dreams and fears. And so it began a process that turned into a friendship over time. It didn't happen overnight, like things don't usually happen overnight in that way. It took probably about a decade. But C.P. Ellis and Ann Atwater actually became friends. And that relationship completely transformed C.P. Ellis. He renounced his membership in the KKK. He voted for school desegregation. And he worked towards social justice issues with Ann Atwater, those kinds of issues that she had worked for all of her life. Miracles do happen when we come together in this way. And I think it's the invitation of this verse to come together. That change can come for the good of all if we're willing to come sit at the table that we've been invited to.